na trzy, dobrze? Uważaj. Raz, Raz dwa... dwa. Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. We post content daily, so consider giving this episode a thumbs up, join the notification squad by subscribing and hitting that bell notification on, but also, don't forget to comment down below saying I subscribed to enter our monthly shoutouts, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Hope you enjoy the video. The key to success in magic is practicing every trick as much as you possibly can, especially when the tricks put your life at risk. The more dangerous a trick is, the more entertaining and thrilling it will be for the audience to watch. But when something goes wrong, it can come to a tragic end. So hang on to your hats as we show you 10 magic tricks that went horribly wrong. Since the great Harry Houdini, escapology has become one of the most popular branches of magic, but escaping acts often pose a lot of danger as they usually involve artists battling time and trying to make an escape before suffocating, drowning or burning alive. Many of these dangerous stunts have gone wrong over the years, often on account of faulty mechanisms, but there have also been times when the fault was with the magician's assistants. When Mexican soap actress Ana de la decided to get shackled and locked inside a box on Mexican live television, she had been training for months to be able to escape the chest in less than a minute so that she would be free before the fireworks that were attached to the box would go off. Even though she is no professional escape artist, the actress made it out of the box within 45 seconds, thinking that she had made it with plenty of time to spare. However, the explosive experts apparently were not on her side or simply incapable of setting the timer right, and so the fireworks went off at the same moment Anna de la stepped out of the box. As the fireworks were shooting three stories high into the air, the panicked actress caught fire and ran away from the box in what seemed like a scene from an action movie. Although the fire team put the flames on her body out in less than five seconds, she surely suffered a few burns since she wasn't wearing a protective suit. The spike, or nail in a bag trick, is a popular illusion that involves four or five identical looking bags that are placed in a line on a table. The magician then shows the audience that the bags are empty and places a spike in one of them. The bags are then shuffled around before someone who wasn't looking gets to pick one bag after another that the magician has to crush with his hand, with each of them being empty until only one bag is left. This last bag is then opened and will of course contain the spike. Or at least that's the idea. When Polish magician Marcin Polinewicz performed this trick on live TV in Poland on a morning show, he made one of the show's hosts smash her hand on the second supposedly empty bag. Except that the magician apparently did not pay much attention when he was mixing the bags in the beginning, and so he accidentally made Marzena Rogalska smash her hand on the very long and thick nail inside the bag. The poor woman screamed with pain, but it took the magician a moment before he realized that she was not just pretending. Maybe early morning TV shows are not for everyone, and Marcin should rather have a good night's rest before his next performance on live television. Michael Anthony Mooney, who is better known as the Great Moudini, in homage to the legendary Harry Houdini, attempted a dangerous act at the Atlanta Motor Speedway a few years back. After being blindfolded, cuffed and chained to a car, Moudini was supposed to free himself before the car took off, leaving the chain to be pulled behind the car. However, the stunt went awry as the magician didn't manage to take off his cuffs in time and was dragged along the track after the car. Moudini had luck on his side though, as he broke several bones but escaped alive. Many magicians have attempted to copy Houdini's signature trick, the water barrel escape that he introduced in St. Louis in 1908. During this dangerous trick, the magician has to escape from inside a barrel or the like filled with water. In order to pay homage to Houdini who had died four years earlier, magician Royden Joseph Gilbert Raisin de la Ganesta attempted to perform the trick in 1930. 
After he was placed in a milk can filled with water, the container was locked with six locks and the keys were given to different people in the audience. However, no one had noticed that the milk can had been damaged during the transport which made it impossible for the magician to escape. When the assistants realized that things were not going according to plan, they tried to free Ganesta but unfortunately, it took them too long to find the red keys for the locks and the magician drowned. On Halloween 1983, escapologist Dean Gunnarsson performed his most dangerous escape in front of 10,000 people and TV cameras in Winnipeg, Canada. After being shackled up on his hands and feet, Gunnarsson climbed into a coffin that was then nailed shut before being lowered into an icy river. They put me inside of a coffin, they nailed the lid on, wrapped it in chains and then they lowered it into the... Uh... When he didn't escape, people first thought it was simply a stunt for the cameras, but the assistants knew that something had gone wrong and pulled the coffin out of the water after Gunnarsson had been underwater for 3 minutes and 47 seconds. When they opened the casket, they found the artist blue, unconscious and lifeless inside and after emergency teams had resuscitated him, he was rushed to the hospital and luckily survived the stunt. Despite almost drowning that day, Gunnarsson didn't quit and has since performed many other spectacular stunts on television in over 165 countries all around the world. In November of 1820, a Polish magic duo tried to do one of the most risky magic tricks during a performance in front of a prince in Germany. The trick involved Madame Delinsky catching bullets fired at her with the whole thing being an illusion of course, since only blanks were shot. However, that day, the trick did not go as planned. Madame Delinsky was facing six soldiers who were told to load their guns with blanks, yet one of them had accidentally used a real bullet and shot her in the stomach. Madame Delinsky, who was pregnant at the time, lost her child instantly before dying herself two days later. UK escape artist and magician Shahid Malik is the holder of three world records for escapology, but that doesn't mean his tricks always go as planned. When he performed his bonfire escape in front of 40,000 people and a camera in 1975, Malik crashed and literally burned. After being tied to a stake, the magician had hay bales stacked up six feet high all around him that were then set on fire. However, the magician needed 32 seconds to get out of this fiery prison which was a lot longer than he had expected. According to Malik, the heat was more intense than words could describe and after the scared escape artist had finally freed himself from the stake, he jumped through the flames and rolled over and over in order to put the flames out. Malik suffered second and third degree burns to his back, arms and face and spent three weeks in intensive care. In 1915, legendary magician Harry Houdini was still in the early stages of his career when one of his tricks almost cost him his life. It was the first attempt of his buried alive trick during which he was buried 6 feet under the crushing weight of soil without a casket or oxygen and would then try to get out. However, Houdini barely escaped alive. When trying to dig himself out, he just about managed to push his hand through to the surface before passing out and having to be rescued by his assistants. On Halloween in 1990, Joe Burris tried to outdo Houdini's trick when he was buried 7 feet under in a glass coffin at Blackbeard's Family Fun Center in Fresno, California. Better than Houdini. And he did the buried alive effect. Through the chains, through the shackles. After the coffin with the chain magician was placed in the ground, 9 tons of dirt and cement were poured in the hole on top of it, but the chain around Burris' neck was too tight and before he could free himself, the coffin was crushed and the magician suffocated and died. And so that he could burrow up through. You realize that cement starts to harden first at, at the lower elevation. American magician William Robinson, better known by his stage name Chang Ling Su, posed as a Chinese magician throughout his career and would even babble pretend Chinese during his shows. He was famous for his illusion condemned to death by the boxers, for which he had a gun with two barrels specially made. He would have someone from the audience load the gun with a real bullet into one chamber, while the gun would actually shoot a blank from a different chamber. However, during a performance in 1918, the gun malfunctioned and fired both bullets at the magician, puncturing his lung and causing him to break character for the first time in his career when he uttered his last words, Oh my god, something's happened, lower the curtain. 
Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.